Hey, how's it going? I'm Resale Rafa, and this is my channel, Follow My Flipping Dollar. I am a reseller, so that means that I go to garage sales and thrift stores. I buy things at a lower cost, and then I attempt to sell them on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and Amazon. And so, um, this is my channel, and you can see what I buy. This is a weekday video, and so that means I'll primarily be going to thrift stores and then showing you what's sold on eBay and, and Facebook. Um, this morning, or I guess it's this afternoon, I went to Goodwill and I picked up a pair of these Nike Metcons. Um, this is primarily a CrossFit shoe. Um, I know because I used to do CrossFit and this is, the Metcon is the shoe that I used. So they're in fairly good condition. I got out of the store for 10 bucks with these. Um, so I'm hoping to flip them for like 30 to 40. Um, new they go, I can't remember how much they sell new, but I'm sure they're over a hundred bucks. So, um, and this is a nice color, doesn't, no major condition issues with it. So, um, thanks so much for watching. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button and follow me the rest of the week to see um, what I pick up. I just had a really nice sale come through on eBay. I just sold these, hold them up. The Nike uh, VaporMax Flyknit. I paid 35 bucks for them at Goodwill on Friday, so three days ago, and I took a best offer for $120 today on eBay. So I really, I had them listed, I think at 150, and I think I could have gotten that given that I had waited enough time, but um, I don't know if you've watched my channel much before, but if you do, you know that I like doing fast flips. I really like getting my money back quickly, and so I'll usually take a best offer uh, rather than sit on something for a couple months on eBay. That's just how I like to do it. I like seeing a quick uh, return on my investment. So I almost quadrupled my money, um, which is pretty good, especially on a $35 investment on these. So all in all, pretty happy. Gonna get these in the mail uh, tomorrow, I guess. Just had a nice order come through on Facebook Marketplace. Um, one where I'm gonna ship, the, it's a golf club. It's a tailor-made um, SLDR 460, I think, driver. And I'm gonna ship it to somebody. And so I actually had that cross posted on both eBay and Facebook Marketplace. And it sold pretty quick after I just listed it today on Marketplace. So pretty happy about that. And I got $80 for it and I had paid 30 going into this one. So nice $50 profit. And what's cool right now, I think through December on Facebook Marketplace, if you're shipping something to somebody, uh, market Facebook is not taking any fee. And so it's better than on eBay right now to ship on uh, Marketplace. I just had two more sales come through, pretty much back to back. One uh, to ship on Facebook Marketplace and then one on eBay. So I just sold these SAS um, shoes that I... I always kind of have an eye out for these. They do sell. Um, and I bought these for a dollar at a garage sale on Friday. And I just got them listed today. And I listed them on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. I was really thinking they'd probably sell on eBay. But I actually got a sale on Facebook Marketplace where I ship it out. Um, and so I'm really happy about that one. I listed them for 20 bucks, And that's what I got. And right now Facebook Marketplace is not taking any fees. So I get the full 20 for that. And then a bigger sale came through on eBay for shoes. Um, forget Yeezys. I'm going to be reselling Hoka's. Hoka's have a really good resale value. This is the Hoka Tour Ultra High Waterproof Shoe that I picked up on Friday at Goodwill. I paid 19 bucks for them. They just sold for $200 in used condition. So this is going to be for sure a bolo that I'm going to be watching out for, um, particularly that model of Hoka. I can't believe how much they sold for. What's crazy is I picked up on that same day the Hoka's, this model, and then the Nike, Nike VaporMax that sold earlier today. I thought it would be the VaporMax. You'd think it would be the Nike shoe that I'd get the bigger resale value on. But no, it's been the Hoka. So um, if you don't know about Hoka, Hoka and you're a reseller, you got to be watching out for it. Because people are paying a lot of money uh, for uh, even used Hokas right now. Um, Hoka 1-1 or One One is actually their full name. So Bolo. I also sold this Vera Bradley bag today. It was on sale for 10 bucks on my Facebook Marketplace uh, page, and I sold it to one of our YouTube viewers and friends um, of my mom, Carmen, and just want to thank you, Carmen, for your set or your purchase again today. And she is the one that has bought for me before, and 
So thanks again and hope you enjoy your bag. So all in all, I didn't have just a ton of sales today, but I did have some things that sold for quite a bit of money. Um, I sold a total of $430 today. I had $86 invested, which leaves me with $344 in profit. So I'm super stoked about that today. Uh, today, uh, my work from the weekend paid off. I'm on my way to do a Facebook Marketplace meetup to actually purchase something. I'm gonna purchase some Mary Kay products that my mom found on Facebook Marketplace. We watch a lot of other resellers on YouTube and a lot of times they sell uh, cosmetics, especially Mary Kay. And so she was searching on Facebook and found these two blush items that I'm gonna pick up for $5 each and hope to resell for about 30 each. So I'll let you know if the person shows up. So I just purchased two of these Mary Kay blushes the color is sheer bliss and i think these are worth more because i think this is a retired color and so i guess that's why they're worth 30 bucks it's only 0 0.07 ounces it's tiny and so i just can't believe it's worth that much so five bucks each on these we'll see if i can flip them i did have one sale today on ebay it was this tour edge bazooka j max seven iron um i only got 12 dollars with shipping on top for this one but i also only paid 50 cents for it so um anytime i can make at least 10 dollars profit on ebay i'm happy with that taking one of my dogs ollie to get shots today ollie I had three sales come through over the night. Um, the first is actually from Facebook Marketplace, one where I do the shipping on it. It's this vintage McDonald's uh, coffee mug. I think I got this for 50 cents last weekend, and I got 15 for it with shipping on top. So super happy about that flip. Even though it's only 15 bucks, when you only have 50 cents into it, it's pretty good. Um, and then I'll show you the next two. They are some of my... Uh, video game vintage lot magazine purchase um somebody on ebay purchased two from me so let me show you those not that one not that one not that one nope there's one of them someone purchased this one from me and then someone purchased this one For these two vintage video game magazines, I got a total of $32 with shipping on top. And again, my buy, uh, my purchase price was about $2.50 for each one. So super happy with that. So I hit a Wednesday estate sale and it wasn't like a professional one where a company is doing the sale. It was more just like the family was doing the sale. And in my experience, that's a lot better because the prices are a lot more reasonable. Let me show you what I got. Um, I got this five pound scale for five bucks and i got this is like a fishing lure little like there's fishing flies in here i guess and the brand on it is p p e r r i n e and it looks like it's going for about 20 and it has flies inside let me show you they're old oh geez like that Um, next, um, I see Matt with part-time pickers pick stuff up like this a lot. It's a vintage tablecloth. It's a Peanuts. You can see it looks like that. The package has been opened, but it doesn't look like it's been out of the package, so I'm going to probably sell it in new condition. And then this last thing is the very best item. Oh, I paid $1.50 for, um, the tablecloth. I paid $1.50 for this. This is a genuine Harley Davidson. It is their 100th anniversary medallion in size large. This is going for anywhere from 60 to 70 on eBay. So this one item alone will easily pay for everything we bought today. Um, so I was super stoked just to find that line there. And um, all in all, it's a pretty good sale. So it's been a pretty productive Wednesday. I just went to that estate sale and then I thought I'd stop by a Goodwill. Just picked up these L.L. Bean, like duck boots. They're, I think they're, the, they're a women's model. I looked up the style number uh, because the they make a one, they make one that looks like this for women and men, but this is a women's, it's a size nine. You can see the leather is just in really awesome condition. The wear on the bottom that you see they're 999, they look like they almost have no wear. So these are in phenomenal condition. I was super happy about these. This is a really popular boot in the wintertime. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna get for it, but I, 
I know I paid $9.99 and I should get more than that. So um, all in all, it's been a good day so far. I am headed to a quick trip by my house to sell a pull-up bar that was just my personal pull-up bar uh, that I'm not using. It's one of those that goes over the door. Um, I left it out in my truck for the last couple days, unfortunately, and it got rained on. And I told the person that and uh, he still wants to meet up. So um, I'll let you know if I meet up with him. I think I'm only asking 10 bucks on it because pull-up bars, they just don't have much resale value, the ones that go over the door. Now, if you find a rogue pull-up bar, the kind that like, are bolted into your garage wall, those have some good resale value on them. But just the little simple over the door ones, not so much. So here this we go. boot is a $159 boot in brand new condition. And I hope that I can take good enough pictures to show just how little wear it has because um, it'd be awesome if I could get like 60 or 70 for these. So we'll see. Got my 10 bucks for the pull-up bar. And the person's here like two minutes after I showed up. So um, a good Facebook meetup. Thursday afternoon and I just hit a Goodwill. I picked up one thing. I picked up the Shimano. Um, so this is a cycling brand. There's the name. Um, I'm not near as familiar with cycling stuff as I am like running specialty stuff, but I'm familiar enough to like recognize the name Shimano that it's a cycling brand. I'm pretty sure this is a mountain bike um, shoe because of how deep the grooves are on the bottom and just like how like tough the upper is on it. Um, you can see like there's, it looks like this practically a brand new shoe. Um, they're size 40, so the European sizes. Um, these weren't marked and so I went at Goodwill that are not marked in Tulsa they are five bucks so I took a chance on them I didn't find a ton of sold comps it might be something that like sits for a while but my price them at like 20 to 30 just hope to get a little bit money back on them so um, we'll see if they sell okay I did have two sales on eBay today um, two smaller sales but that's okay the first is this Colgate uh, shaving mug soap it's like a vintage shaving mug soap um, I paid a dollar for it and I got 4.99 with shipping on top doing this one again i probably wouldn't pick this up i thought it was going to sell for ten dollars plus and so um for the most part uh, i like to make a at least like ten dollars profit on the stuff that i'm picking up and listing just because for the time it takes to list something take the photos um ship it but this one's not easy hard to ship so that's good at least the next thing i uh sold today was this bubba keg it's a 72 ounce like thermos and it sold for $12.60 with shipping on top. And I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar on this one. So I am happy with that sale. I am working on a um, that video, the video game magazine big lot that I purchased. I'm working on a bundle deal for um, the electronic games magazines. Someone wants to buy nine of them for 120 bucks. And so I made that listing. And so we'll see if they buy it. And that'll be a pretty good sale considering I paid $100 for like 41 magazines. So um, I'll let you know if that one comes through.